Welcome back everyone. Let's talk about developing with Apple. Now whenever you're developing for a system, it could be Blackberry, it could be Xbox 360, it could be for a PC, or it could be for the PlayStation. Every piece of hardware in every company has its own style of developing. So when you develop something for certain companies, they make you buy a huge what we call a software development kit or an SDK. And these can cost you know, tens of thousands of dollars if you want to use their software development kit and their hardware. Now, Apple doesn't let you do, do that. They don't charge a whole bunch of money for what they do. They charge a little bit, but they don't charge something that's outrageous. And when we work with different companies, there's, again, a different way of not only the code, there's different hardware, and there's also a different style around it, too. So developing, if you've ever developed something for a PC, you'll notice that the system is quite a bit different than developing with Apple and vice versa. So let's talk a little bit more about developing with Apple specifically. Apple has a vertically integrated development system. So what does that mean? So you've probably heard of the term vertically integrated before, but in terms of business and not in terms of software development. Now in business, a vertically integrated company means that the company owns every part of the production. So it owns you know, the how it gets the resources, how it develops those resources into a product. It owns the research and development, everything. Everything is owned by that company. A horizontally integrated company is one that outsources to other companies. So you have your main company and it gets its resources from another company. It does its development here and it go, does its other development at a, a different company. So sometimes when you work with other platforms, they, it, you actually do this. You have to use different third-party engines to get whatever you're doing onto their system. Now, for the most part, Apple uses their software called Xcode, and that is the main software that it uses. Now, having said that, there are a few engines that you can use with Apple, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next few tutorials. But you have to use their software in order to make apps of any kind. And the reason for this is that they want to make sure it's a quality control. When you develop software, Apple makes sure that there is little or no malware on their App Store, and if you list, if you look at other app stores, um, they have a little bit more malware than Apple does. And I don't think the the App Store has no malware, but it has very little. And the reason is that they have very strict development guidelines. Now, you can also use Xcode to develop and release from there. Now, even if you're using, let's say, a different engine, in this case, you know, we're using the BuzzTouch engine, it will have to export the code into this Xcode code, which is called Objective-C, and then release it to the App Store. So even if you're using a third-party engine, which there aren't, which there aren't very many with Apple, uh, but it will have to actually make the code into Objective-C and then release it from there. I'll see you guys next time.